Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about how my hair grew or how my hair is growing. I'm gonna curl my hair today and then um, I'll go over with you how I managed to get my hair growing and what I do personally. And this is just my my journey with my hair. A big disclaimer, I am not a professional so take it for what it will. I just took a shower last night, so my hair, this is how it looks right after. I'm gonna be curling it and I'll just be um, letting you know like the background of my hair and then I'll be showing you um, what I use and what I do. I cut my hair to like this length in 2015. I cut my hair like really short. So 2016, 2017, it was kind of like right here at that like a little below the shoulder. And then in 2018, 2019, that's when my hair um, started taking a turn, like um, it started growing a little more. I saw the actual difference in my hair. I'm gonna put this beauty protector, protect and detangle. My sister just gave this to me, so I'm gonna use it today. Ooh. And we're going to put it all over our hair. To protect our hair when we curl it. So 2018-2019 um, and now um, what I've been doing is using extra strength hair, skin, and nails argan oil infused by Na Nature's Bounty. So I get mine at Costco. But, um, there was a time where I couldn't take these in an empty stomach because they would really upset my stomach. You have to take three a day. So me being me that I forget sometimes, I would just take them at night and take all three of them. If I didn't really eat very well, um, it would hurt my stomach. Maybe because I did take all three of them at the same time, it really made my stomach upset. So I was getting really, you know what I mean? Um, I would get really like, ugh. like I didn't like the, the smell of them. And they have a really strong smell. There's some good things that there's some not so great things but i would take them all the time um whoo, but then i stopped taking them and i got back into them again but this time i got the chewy ones there's some chewy like gummies that was much better it came in a smaller container so i would finish them pretty quick um and i got those at rite aid I'm pretty sure that you can get them anywhere though you just you can just google them maybe gua greens i'm using this this tool it's called pro beauty tools so this is a really inexpensive curling iron and this is in the one and a half inch I really like this it really does great with my hair yeah so I started taking the gummies and I really enjoyed those better but like I said they the ones I bought didn't come in a very uh, large container so I finished them pretty quick and then I started going back to those so I got a little break from them because like I said it was the smell is not very pleasant and the pills are pretty big. I mean, it depends if you're not really a pill person that you don't really like taking pills. It's hard for you to take pills then I would suggest the gummies instead. It works the same, um, but the only thing with the gummies is I feel like if you get like a, like a small container, like I did, you would pretty much finish them pretty quick. So I wouldn't be, if you want your hair to to be consistent and growing, um, then I would I would get a big um, container from Costco, like I said, or from wherever you normally get your stuff. I recently have been doing some like hair treatment, like remedy at home. I'll show you when I'm here when I'm done with my hair, but I'll show you what I did. Um, I'd use baking soda, um, olive oil, and half a lemon. And um, I do it like a like a hair mask for my hair once a month or whatnot, whatever. Uh, now obviously we have more time, but before it's I didn't have a lot of time to do that, to do any of that. So um, I would do it like once a month. But I think if you want your hair to to be healthy, to look healthy, um, then you can do it a little. You know, you can do it like once a week or whatnot whatever you'd like i'm gonna go ahead and um keep working on my hair and i'll be right back when everything is done so i can show you guys 
the finished outcome of my hair and what I do at the end here. We're gonna just do just bigger curls. So it's looking like this. There's one side compared to the other. Yeah, so like I said, everybody pretty much has baking, baking soda and olive oil in their house and lemon. So yeah, I use half a lemon. That really helps also with my hair to kind of brighten it up right now. I've noticed, um, obviously I use purple shampoo, but I've noticed um, my hair kind of lightening up a little bit more with the lemon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll come back. Okay, so I just finished doing all of my hair, just curling it, this is how it looks. Now let me show you um, what I use. Okay, so this is the mask, the hair mask that I do um, for my hair. And like I said, I just recently did this yesterday too. Um, to, like I said, I didn't have time before, but now I do. So I decided to try it out and I really like how my hair feels afterwards. Um, so you can grab whatever container you, you want. I grabbed this. <laughs> Um, yogurt container that I had um, nothing too fancy so um, obviously a spoon um, so you're gonna need baking soda so what I did depends on how much hair you have a lot of hair so I needed to add a little bit more while I was um, trying to do this um, hair mask yesterday so I Honestly, I don't remember the measurements. So I I put like that much of the baking soda. I put it like above that line. And then I put three spoons of olive oil. This is the olive oil that I have, so this is what I used. And then I added half of a lemon or lime. I mixed it all up and then I added a little bit of water just kind of to make it like a putty. I like to apply it on the hair but mostly on my scalp and I just like to just kind of massage it, massage it, massage it everywhere. It's like a hair mask. And then um, I just put it up, put my hair up. You can leave it in there for 30 to an hour. I left it in there for an hour. So after that, I put my shampoo that I use. I mean, like I said, I use the purple shampoo because my hair is color treated. Anyways, so put whatever shampoo you want in there and then mix it up. So whatever's left in that the container after you're done, putting it what what you want on your scalp. You just mix put some put some of your um your favorite shampoo mix it in there, make a little putty in there, kind of leave it in there, wait for the time that you're gonna take a shower. And then when you're gonna take a shower, just go in there and um, take all that off, you know, massage it all off. And then after that, you wanna put the whole, your shampoo and just rinse afterwards. My hair feels so much better and so much healthier. If you guys have any more questions or if you guys suggest anything, just, just let me know and then um, I will answer your questions. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert some pictures at the end of how, just how my hair turned out today. Oh, and at the end, I like to use this secret weapon. It's called Secret Weapon by John Frieda. And um, to get travel size, just so I can try them out and then see if I like them. Let me know guys, your thoughts um, and any suggestions that you guys might have. Like I said, this is just what I do to my hair and if you try it out and you like it, then that's great. Otherwise, um, 
I will be talking to you next time. Don't forget to like this video and comment below. Um, and I'll see you guys for the next time. Oh, and don't forget to turn your little bell for more videos, hopefully coming soon. Take care guys, be safe.